Hello right now. Hi you guys. It's your girl the Empress 917 and I'm coming to you with another one. So it is so cold outside tonight. You already know spirit is in the building. And we're supposed to be having some precipitation coming down today. And you know what? I with my crazy self am thinking about going out of town <laughs> with a friend of mine. She wants to go out of town and she was like, We can beat the weather for the weekend and I think that's where I wanna go. So I can have a little peace, you know. It is Valentine's Day weekend, so you know, just do a little something to love on myself. <laughs> but anyway, um I want to come on here and read some energy for tonight um, since it's so cold and <sighs> snuggle bunny weather, you know. I just want to do a little read and see. 111, as I say that. So, this may be a twin flame reading 11 o'clock, as I say that as well on the clock. But I just want it to be a good shuffle. Hold on, you guys. I'm coming. It doesn't feel good yet. I have to do it to feel good. Almost there. <laughs> this is the last, last time, last time. Give us clear and concise messages on what we need to hear tonight. What do we need to hear tonight on this lovely, lovely day? Okay. We have a Queen of Wands on the board. Queen of Wands. Okay. Three of Wands. Okay. I like to do it like this too, y'all. You know, I read differently from a lot of people. I have several ways I can read it. Um... Hmm. Okay. Four of Swords. All right. We do have the Death card. Okay. And we have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords right over the Four of Swords. As well as we have the Four of Wands. So we're moving to the three to the four of wands. That's seven of wands. That's standing up for something, okay? Somebody is waiting on their shifts because they're about to stand up for their happiness, okay? Um, what I am seeing is that four to the three of swords. Somebody is trying to heal from a separation or a heartbreak. Something that has happened within a relationship dynamic. It could be a um, queen of wands that is coming to the realization that a relationship is over with. Yes, that the relationship is over with with somebody. There is a transformation <clears throat> that's going on with this relationship. This person here is very controlling. So there has to be a transformation that happens with this person because they're very controlling. Um, this male figure here is waiting on their, you know, all their opportunities, all their seeds that they've sown to come on in. And that's what they're waiting on in order to change their, their living situations um, because... They're healing from somebody that they are currently se separated from. Somebody that currently, that this person, that this male um, is dealing with, because I'm getting male. Somebody that this male is dealing with is helping him heal from this home situation that's going on with this Queen of Wands. That's what I'm saying. Let's see. Give me this three to the four of ones. Let me see what's going on with this because it, it seems like somebody is standing up for what they believe in, starting to uh, get their strength back. Let me see the three to the four of the ones, please. Four of ones. Yeah, some secrets was in this household, so somebody ended up breaking somebody's heart, I believe. Let's see. Come on, spirit. What you want to talk about? Yeah. 
I said somebody had to stand up for what they believe in. Yes, this king of this uh, king of swords had to go ahead and start uh, putting his foot down. Okay, all right. Give me the queen of wands and death. Queen of wands and death. Yes, okay, there's a transition that this Queen of Wands know that there's a transition that this person now is choosing to where they were choosing her or yeah, where they were choosing her to work on and work hard for now, but I believe now this person is choosing their life, their work, what they want to do um to to come into to to make everything come into fruition for this male. This male is like I'm going to do what I got to do for me now. Um, for whereas he was choosing the the Queen of Wands first. Cause she was very passionate and very controlling very controlling with her sexual um, advances to this masculine as well she was just offering that, <laughs> a wet butt and um, it was enticing to this this masculine's um, low vibrational energy and so this masculine decided that you know what I want to change my life. I want to. I want to rebirth in life. I want to have a new beginning in life. And now here's the will. The will of fortune is here. The will of fortune is here to do some transformation. Yeah, the will of fortune is also here to let some secrets out. So we're gonna see what these secrets are about. We're gonna see what these secrets are about. Yeah, the secret is that somebody is um, getting ready to make a move. Somebody is getting ready to make a move. They are um, very much so not in conflict and confusion anymore about what they want to do. They're about to communicate this with somebody as well. Um, give me the three, the four to the three of wands. Who is this? The four to the three of wands, please, Spirit. The four to the three of wands. The four to the three of wands. The four to the three of wands, please, spirit. Ooh. The four to the three of wands. I mean, that's why it's not coming out, spirit. Uh, I'm sorry. The four to the three of swords. Four and three of swords, please. Oh, excuse me, guys. It's been a long day. But it's been an eventful day, so I'm all right. <laughs> Four to the four and three of swords. Yeah, somebody is um has chosen somebody that really makes them heal. Somebody has chosen somebody that they're separated from, but really makes them heal and really makes them think and really challenges and challenge challenge them. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, but this person challenges this masculine. Let's see what is this masculine actions right now. Okay. They're moving toward victory. They're definitely moving toward victory, something that they want. Um, what is this masculine's action toward this karmic? Because I do see a karmic in the picture right here. What is this masculine action toward the karmic? Masculine action toward the karmic. Yeah, this person is definitely going to get their justice. They're going for their justice with this person. They're not playing anymore. They definitely are ready to uh, get a victory. Yeah, and they know they're going for this. They know it's going to be trauma and drama. They're going to have to go to court for something. Show me this court in confusion. Or in confusion. Yeah, there's going to be confusion because somebody is still going to be holding on because of money. And th they just want money. And somebody else is just healing. And, and it's like, this is why they got to go to court because it's, it's no balance here in this relationship anymore. Yeah, and there's still, there's a lot of lying and deceit that's going on and controlling issues and controlling matters that's going on within this relationship. Because um, both of them are cheating because I'm going to tell you something. They're both, they're both after the money for, from each other. But both of them are cheating. That's why they're staying. 
But both of them are cheating still. And both of them are lying and deceiving to each other right now. Yeah, they're both leaving each other out in the cold right now. But they're just staying safe face because the money is there. But see, what's going to happen is the money is going to get split into half because right here it goes from the 5 to the 10. So whatever's going on right now, the money, the money within this family dynamic is going to be split into in, in half, and um, that's why I said that there's going to be a, a court situation about somebody trying to hold on to some money. That's what's going to cause so much confusion. It's a court situation that's about to happen, and they're about to go from the five to the ten. I do believe that this masculine will have to share half of their assets or whatever was going on with this uh, feminine. This feminine may get her way in court. I'm hearing no. I'm hearing no. She's not going to get her way. Oh, snap. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. Yeah, I promise you. Okay, so... Yeah, I forgot where I was. Just the camera. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, I do feel like it's time to go now. Because these cars going everywhere. Like, talking about, like, everywhere, y'all. I don't understand. I had the camera fail. Somebody don't want me to talk about this little relationship being over with, honey. Look at it, and then when I pick up the cars, look what's on top. The devil. The devil is still trying to stop the partnership because they know that, that this is high priestess status partnership. Yeah. Then the empress flipped over as well. See what I'm saying? Like, energies are so powerful, and I'm going to stop the reading right now because, like, half my dick. And then look, why they playing? Yeah, I can't make this up. Half of my dick just flew. But anyway. Give me a closing message for this reading spirit because I am too over it. I'm over this reading. Somebody didn't want me to get this out. Yes, overall, this person is ready to step out here and take a th take the leap of faith because this person wants to give you some type of offer because they they want to celebrate and make you happy and be happy with you, you know? Yeah, and they also feel like that you are their soulmate. You are somebody who they believe that they they that you can balance them out and they can't believe they juggled you. Yeah, but they want a new beginning because that's the ending of, of, of them backstabbing you and juggling you. Because this marriage, this union, this whatever they had, is over with. It's over with. Yeah, this person is becoming grounded again and seeing the truth for what it is. All right, you guys. You're, this is your girl. I just want to come on and give some energies for this reading because... I mean, for this night, because it was so, you know, just like you're warm and toasty and just snuggle up and know that your boo is coming. Look at that. Beautiful. Bye, collective. I love you.